Is this you? Do you constantly find yourself saying yes when you actually want to say no? Do you allow other people's opinions to weigh heavier than your own? Perhaps, even perhaps, you are your biggest inner critic rather than being your biggest cheerleader. If this sounds familiar, then you are in the right place because today I'm going to be delving into the crucial topic of self-respect. Hi, if you're new to me, I'm Teresa Young, Relationship Master Coach, and welcome to Relationship Talk. And you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing some practical tips, three practical tips, in order to help elevate your degree of self-respect. But before we get into it, what exactly is self-respect? Well, self-respect is the cornerstone when it comes to having an empowered and fulfilling life. It's about you, yes you, valuing yourself, setting healthy boundaries and treating yourself with the love, the kindness and the dignity that you deserve. It's not about arrogance or ego, because some people say, oh look, they're walking around puffing out their chest. Absolutely, stand strong. That's what having self-respect is about. It's about you standing tall, standing strong and coming from a place of authenticity with care and compassion too. So how can we elevate our self-respect? Well, now I'm going to dive into some game-changing tips for you that you can start applying right now. So tip number one is to cultivate your self-awareness. Take time to really understand your strengths, areas of growth, your values, your goals. What do you stand for? Who are you being? How are you showing up? Are you coming from a place that is the true you? Take stock on that. Think about your goals and your desires and how can you also be present in the now? Acts like journaling, meditation, visualization, actually taking time to reflect upon your, your behaviors, upon your thoughts, upon your emotions. Emotions are great indicators for telling you where you are right now really cultivate that self-awareness. Tip number two is to ensure that you set and enforce, I know enforce sounds quite strong, but it's really about enforcing those boundaries in a way that is caring as well. Because sometimes when people say, I've got a boundary, that means I'm gonna cut you off clean. Sometimes, sometimes there is space for that, absolutely. We have to protect our well-being and our safety. Equally, there is room to be able to communicate boundaries in a way that is compassionate and assertive. So this means you knowing your limits, your deal breakers. What are your non-negotiables? Your preferences either. What are your desires? Really reflect upon why these things are important to you and how they make you feel. Because when you are able to communicate your boundaries and tell somebody why it's important to you, what the need is, how it makes you feel, then they can understand it from a place of perhaps empathy because they can't argue really with how you feel. Your feelings are your feelings. They might not agree with it, but then they can't really argue with it. But you'll be able to use it and to assert it in a way that communicates yourself really well. Because remember, it's all about striking that balance and finding a healthy way that respects both your needs and also the needs of the other person because the other person will have boundaries too. And it's important that we acknowledge that as well. So remember, Saying no isn't absolutely necessary. It might be a not yet. It might not be, I'm not ready yet. But saying no also means that you are actively cultivating self-respect by saying yes to yourself. And the third tip is to practice self-compassion. Please treat yourself with the same level of kindness, care, compassion that you would do to a family member, to a friend, to someone close to you, somebody that you care about, because it can really help us to navigate those challenges too that we have when it comes to self-respect. So this means embracing any perceived imperfections that you may have. Learn from your experiences. What's the blessing you can take from it? What's the lesson? How can you use that to grow and move forward and to expand yourself rather than contract yourself? 
and to celebrate your wins no matter how small or trivial you might think they might be celebrate your wins and i always advocate to my clients before they go to bed is to have five to ten wins that day whether it might feel small to you whether it might feel big to you whatever it is it's really important that we acknowledge and celebrate ourselves and be our biggest cheerleader so that we can just really start to respect ourselves too because respect isn't necessarily an external thing we have to learn to validate ourselves and through that validation that self-validation the self-respect can come and you can own that space you can own your authenticity Self-respect is such a key ingredient when it comes to building a strong foundation of self-respect for yourself and also for your relationships to self-compassion. So there you have it. Three, three tips to really help you to improve and cultivate self-respect. Remember, it is a journey, not a destination. So it's important that you continuously validate yourself, acknowledge yourself, and celebrate the progress that you are making along your way. I really hope that those tips have been helpful to you. If you have found them valuable, please remember to give this video a like. And I'm really curious to hear which one of these tips do you feel that you could nurture the most? Or perhaps you even have some other ways of cultivating and improving self-respect. I'd love to know. Please drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you're thinking you would like some more one-to-one -one support, I am absolutely available to be able to assist you. Do check out my website, www.tarishayoung.com, where you can book in some one-on-one -on -one time. Until the next video, remember that love is your essence, confidence is your superpower, and you are the bold navigator of your extraordinary journey of love, life, and relationships. Take care of yourself and others too.